This is the ferru plant. When you harvest it, you're supposed to get a ferru leaf, or you have a chance of getting a ferru leaf. In fact, there is an achievement for doing so. I have harvested this plant about a dozen times and have not gotten a ferru leaf. It is extremely frustrating. And still, no ferru leaf. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the show. Ah, the sweet sound of lots of machinery happening. I've just got stuff working and just processing things because, you know, why not? But for today's episode, I thought what might be interesting is to make the oil drilling rig. So this is the control block, controller block for the oil drilling rig. Kind of shows us what we need to make it. And as you can see here, it does require a medium voltage machine hull, as well as some good electronic circuits. And we talked about how to make the good electronic circuits before. So it is something that requires the medium voltage age to be in, and also these medium voltage motors. Now, I believe that I have made everything I need in order to make this particular item. So let's start with the medium voltage machine hull two good electronic circuits, three medium voltage electric motors, and three steel frames. And there we have the oil drilling rig. Now again, we need all these other items as well. We're gonna need an output hatch, a maintenance hatch, and an energy hatch, as well as a bunch of steel casings and steel frames. Uh, very interesting. So again, I think that I have all of the necessary materials here. I think I've already made them all. And let's think about putting this thing together. So I cleared out a space over here, which is where I'm going to try to put it. And in retrospect, might not be the best place for it. But for now, this is what I'm going to do. So we're going to put down our controller block, which says it has to be at the front middle bottom. And so we'll call that that spot there. Now it's going to need an energy hatch. This is where energy will go into. And I think I'm going to put that here. And I've made a medium voltage uh, energy hatch. Uh, I believe you can use any size energy hatch you want, but the lower the voltage that goes in, the slower the machine will work, I believe. Next, we have an output hatch, and this would be where the oil drilling, whatever it finds, will come out. And I think I will put that here for now. And then, of course, we need the ever-present maintenance hatch. I'm going to put that in the back center. It makes it easy to remember. Now, this base is a 3x3, three three, so we're going to fill in the rest of it with these steel machine casings, so it looks like that. Now, then what we do is we make a pillar up the middle of three of them. One, two, three. Three of the machine casings, I should say. And then we need to make a pillar of these steel frames. Three of them that go on top of this. And it looks like I'm a little bit on the high side already here. So I'm going to drop down and use some scaffolding to climb back up. So one, two, and three. Looks like that's just at the right height. And hopefully that doesn't cause too many problems. All right. And then we're going to make more scaffolding around it like this. And when we're done... That is the oil drilling rig. So let's right click on this. And you can see here there is, of course, more uh, diagram as far as how to put it together. And again, with the maintenance issues, we need to go through and clean those up. So let's go over here and grab the necessary tools, which are a hammer and a crowbar and a soft mallet and wrench screwdriver and the soldering iron uh, the soldering iron does need solder which is right there okay i believe those are the six tools required i can never remember this i do kind of think it's a little bit of a pain so hammer like so crowbar soft mallet, wrench, screwdriver, and I 
and soldering alloy like so and circuitry burned out I thought that's what the soldering iron was for except it's not charged maybe it wouldn't work because it wasn't charged let me go charge it up in a battery buffer okay soldering iron is full of power let's take that back over I don't know if the Soldering alloy wire has to be on the hot bar or not for this to work, but I always do it just in case. And go in here, do that. There we go, and I finally get the achievement for full maintenance. It is interesting to me that the soldering alloy wire, uh, one of them was used up even though the soldering iron didn't have any power when I did it the first time, but such is life. Okay, so there it is, the oil drilling rig. It is ready to go. Now, of course, it will need power, so I have a medium voltage battery buffer that I'm going to use for now as far as getting power into this uh, machine. Now let's go over here and I'm going to take a battery from... Well, first of all, I need to put this battery back. But I'm going to take a battery from this buffer down here because it can spare one. Yeah, I could take that one, I guess. It's not full, but that's all right. And we'll take it over to the oil drilling rig, put that into the battery buffer like so. Okay, so it's got some residual or some uh, some storage amount of power. Now the next thing that this needs is mining pipes, and these are the IC2 mining pipes. They are kind of expensive to make. I don't know how many of them uh, exactly are needed, so I'm gonna go with a full stack and hope that that is sufficient. And this controller block is interesting in that it doesn't really have much of an interface, if you will. Uh, it can be difficult to figure out where you're supposed to put the mining pipes, but if you see when I hover over this top spot, it kind of glows. And that is actually where they go. So you put that in there. So using a rubber mallet, I should be able to turn this on. It is enabled. We should see power draining and it's running perfectly. That's good information. And you can see it's using these mining pipes to go down. So at some point in time, if it finds anything and it might not, it will put it into this output hatch ready for me to take out. So I guess it's just a matter of waiting to see. Now, later on, I will be able to make something called a seismic prospector which is this device here. You can see it requires electronic circuits, a steel hull. Well, maybe I can make this now. LV sensors, quartzite. I think I, can, I have quartzite somewhere. Huh, for some reason I thought I couldn't make the seismic prospector. The seismic prospector is what will tell you if you're in an area that has something that the oil drilling rig can dig up or can uh, can get but I'm gonna let it run for now and see if I get lucky in having it produce something otherwise I'm going to make a seismic prospector treasure okay let's go check on the oil drilling rig Looks like it's... Oh, hit to restart. Did we run out of power? We ran out of power. Did I find anything? I did not find anything. This is still empty. Oh boy, I do not know how much power this thing is going to use. So let's go drop this battery off and grab another one and see what happens. Okay, so with this seismic prospector, why I need to wait on it is it doesn't all fit here on my screen because of the UI size that I use, but the Seismic Prospector prints or encodes all of the data it collects onto something called a data stick. And the data stick, oops, the data stick looks like this. And to make a data stick requires some polyethylene sheets. And I don't yet have the ability to make polyethylene sheets. So that is why I can't use the Seismic Prospector just yet. 
Okay, is this out of power again? No, it stopped. I wonder if that means there is no oil. Huh. Okay, so the way I understand how this works, and somebody can correct me if I'm wrong, but the Greg Tech 5U no longer generates pockets of oil uh, in the world during world generation, and that helps to speed up world generation so there's not as many lag and spikes and things like that. And instead what happens is when you put down an oil drilling rig, there's some sort of uh, determination, random determination by... I don't know if it's by chunk or by an, a, a chunk, you know, maybe a multiple chunk size that determines whether or not there are any, uh, there's going to be any oil in those areas. And if there is, then the oil drilling rig will uh, collect that oil into that output hatch that I showed earlier. So it is, again, somewhat random. I think that from what I remember, about half of the chunks have nothing in them at all, something like that. So, again, you use that seismic prospector in order to determine whether or not there's anything in the area, but the seismic prospector requires those polyethylene sheets, which I can't make. So you have to kind of put down the oil drilling rig, you know, essentially at random until you get lucky enough to find some oil. So I'm pretty sure that this is probably dug all the way down. I think it goes down to bedrock level. Uh, I am at level 61. Bedrock level would be at, uh, you know, three or four, two, one, two, three or four, something like that, which means I would have used uh, just under 60 mining pipes to get there. And it looks like it used 64 minus seven is 57. So that's probably about right. So I'm guessing that this has gone all the way down and has discovered nothing, which is a bad sign because it means I'm going to have to uproot this and move it. Now, one of the things that I saw online was that the oil drilling rig handles an area that is, I think, 96 blocks by 96 blocks, which is about six chunks square, which seems like an odd shape to me. And I don't know if that means I have to move the oil drilling rig 96 blocks away in order to discover a new area, but I think that that's what it means, which kind of sucks. I was hoping that I would have something easy right here in front of me, but I think I'm going to have to do that, so I'm going to work on that right now. All right, so one of the things that I really dislike about the Greg Tech machinery is there doesn't seem to be any way to retract the mining pipes that have gone down into the ground. Now, with the IC2 miner, industrial craft miner, you can uh, just remove the drill and it will bring them back, or you can actually put in a block and it will uh, bring back up those mining pipes and replace the empty space with the block. But that doesn't seem to work here in the Greg Tech machines. If there is a way to make the Greg Tech machine retract the mining pipes so that you can get them back, I would like to know that. So if anybody knows that, please let me know. But anyway, now I need to dismantle this entire thing. Now I can use the IC2 miner and place that. I think I can do this. I think I can place that on top of the uh, the hole with the, with the, the mining pipes. <laughs> Sorry about that. And I believe I can power it with this battery. Let's find out. So we'll put that down and put a battery in there. I do want to see if I can fill this back up with granite cobblestones. Yeah, it goes in there. So like this, does that work? Yeah, it's got power. So it, it brings up the mining pipes and then fills in the, the holes that were left by the mining pipe with the, the block that you put there. So uh, this is the way to get back your mining pipes. I find it kind of annoying. I wish that the, the oil drilling rig had its own methodology for bringing back up the mining pipes just like the IC2 machines do. I, I feel like that's a huge oversight as far as this machinery goes. But anyway, uh, this is getting back the pipes and then I can take the, the parts for the oil drilling rig and I'm going to move you know, a hundred blocks in some direction and try and run it again. 
Now, running this oil rig outside could be dangerous. The rule is that with pretty much all, I think, of the Greg Tech electrical machinery, if it gets rained on, it will explode. So I'm gonna go ahead and put down some cobblestone as a cover. I don't know how much of a cover it needs, so I'm gonna go one block outside of it all. But essentially, yeah, you don't want it to get rained on because everything will just explode on you and that's never a good thing. Okay, but the oil drilling rig is running. Again, I'm gonna have to wait for the mining pipes get all the way down to the bedrock level and then we'll see if this area has any oil in it. Okay, here's a warning for everybody. If you run out of mining pipes and it hasn't yet reached bedrock, it will continue to drain power. Let me get it started again. There you go. It will continue to drain power even though it's not doing anything. So you don't want to run out of the mining pipes. So you can, you can see there it went down, so it's still it was still going down, but it was draining power even though it uh, hadn't yet reached the bottom and it didn't have any mining pipes, so it was just draining to do nothing. But this time it looks like I actually have something, and look at that, I found heavy oil. Pretty cool. So this allows me to dig up heavy oil. So I looked into this a little bit more as far as how this works, and the, the way it's set up is that the amount of the fluid that you get is sort of like what is randomly determined as part of... Um, you know, part of the randomization of the chunk. So you can see that I have 3312, I went to 726, so I got about 414, and I, I will keep getting 414 every time there's a process. And the energy hatch determines how often that happens. So on a low voltage energy hatch, it will happen uh, less frequently, and the more power, the higher the power up, then the more frequently that occurs. But as you can see, I keep getting 414 um, uh, liters of the heavy oil. So uh, what's randomly determined is what kind of oil it is. I think there's a light oil and a heavy oil. And then uh, what's randomly determined is how much. Now, over time, as I understand it, that number will go down. So I'm getting 414 every time there's a process. Over time, that will go down. And I don't know if it... Maybe it goes all the way down to a zero. So at some point in time, I, uh, you know, I will have you know, gotten all of the oil that's available in this area, all of the heavy oil that's available in this area. So again, as time goes on, um, it, you know, depending on what energy hatch I use, that's how often it, this update will occur, or the, the increase in how much fluid I have will occur. And right now I'm getting 414 liters each time, but that number, that 414 will go down over time until eventually it gets to a zero, I believe, and then that's when it's dried up. Of course, when it gets down to maybe 10, it may not be worth running it anymore anyway, and it might be better off just to find another space. But as you can see, I finally found some heavy oil. And it does use a lot of power, so I am going to try to come up with a way to save myself on that. Now, I'm not gonna have to worry about it too much. I've got a medium voltage output hatch here, which I believe only stores uh, 16,000 liters anyway. So this might actually be full here pretty soon. Uh, one more update should do it. Oh no, this must hold 30. Oh, it holds 24,000. Okay, it holds 24,000. And it's nighttime and I'm out in the middle of nowhere. I gotta go sleep. Okay, so the output hatch is full. 24,000 liters or 24 buckets of this heavy oil. I wanted to see something and yep, that's what I was afraid of. The battery is still draining, so there's a couple of things about that that I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and turn the machine off so it'll stop using power to do nothing. What I don't know is, as I said, there is a, you know, a fixed amount of oil that you will get out of, of the oil drilling rig. Now, it's not a quantity amount, but rather it's an amount per process. Uh, as I said before, my, in, in this particular instance, I'm getting 414. 
that number will gradually go down over time. Uh, even though it's not giving me any fluid and it's still running, obviously using power, uh, that may mean that that number is also potentially declining as well. So I'm not going to want to run the oil drilling rig because I don't know if, if that's how it works or not. So I don't want to run it when uh, the output hatch is full until I can actually do something with this heavy oil. But that is going to do it for this episode, the oil drilling rig. If you're seeing a beam coming out of that, that's because I put a... <laughs> a waypoint there so I would know where I wanted to drill next but it would look cool if there was a beam maybe so let's do it like eh, it's not gonna come out right anyway if you have any questions or comments please leave them for me in the comment section down below send me a message say uh, if you want to say hi or let me know any tips and tricks any hints uh, anything that you may know that I'm missing or any ideas on what I could be working on next Leave it all for me in the comment section down below. As always, I thank you so very much for joining me, and I will see you next time. Dang it!